All right, guys, it's time for another off-season video. And before we get into this week's topic, uh, just a reminder, I'm sure many of you have been following, but we are in the middle of Season 7 of Fouled Reality. This past week was Episode 4, entitled Teamwork. Uh, we're with Josh DeWitt of Brookstone Kennels on a couple of hunts in the Midwest. Uh, he's got a couple of awesome dogs that go on hunts uh, in this episode. He's a great, great guy, a wealth of knowledge, and uh, it's a cool episode, so make sure you check it out. And if you haven't watched our dog training series this past summer, that's also with Josh, and he kind of takes you through the steps of not only training the dog, but as far back as what dog do you need to look for? Uh, what do you want? What do you look for in a kennel and a trainer? And kind of takes you through the steps. Uh, it's, a, it's a 13, 14 video series that we did this summer. Make sure you check those out. And now for this week's off-season video topic. Uh, the question was raised, what is the best conditions to waterfowl hunt in? And there is no right or wrong answer to that one. Uh, I'm sure a lot of guys have had great hunts on sunny days. They've had bad hunts on sunny days. The same can be said for clouds or, or rain or snow. Uh, there's probably not one correct answer to this question. Everybody's going to have their own different opinion. And what kills me is when you travel the country, you talk to all these people, some guys will say, I want it to be sunny. I want the birds to be blinded. They can't see in the sun. Another guy on that same hunt may say, no, it's going to cast shadows. They're going to see the shadows. Which do you think is the right or wrong answer to that? I don't know. I'm not a bird. I don't know what a bird sees. Um, I see both arguments. Um, clouds, along the same lines, you know, can birds see as well in clouds as they can on sun? Can they pick out the little intricacies, the little parts of a blind that maybe aren't brushed, or the gun barrel sticking out of the blind, or that bag that's not stuffed in with, with grass or with corn stalks? I don't know the answer. I don't see how a bird sees. Everybody's going to have a different opinion. I do know, in my experience, that fog and that a heavy snow are wicked hard for hunting. Uh, visibility, obviously, is next to nothing. Now, I will say, uh, if it's a heavy snow and you're on an X, there's a chance that those birds are going to come back and they're not going to see you until it's too late. But you're not going to be able to see them until the last second, too. Uh, they're going to be more apt to feed during that time because they feel the pressure drop in that storm. You know, in the fog, I don't think they're as apt to come out and feed because they don't feel that approaching storm or that storm that's on top of them. Uh, it might just be low-level moisture. It's creating fog. Ground level, they might sit there and ride it out. So there's not probably as great of a chance of them getting out to feed in foggy conditions versus uh, a heavy snowfall or a, a snowstorm. Rain. If it's a light rain, I don't mind it. If it's a heavy rain, it sucks. Number one, the cameras. Uh, number two, yourself. Uh, it's miserable to hunt in rain. Uh, we've had some good hunts and some light rain, some drizzle, some mist. Uh, a heavy rain, we usually call it. Uh, I'm not going to sit out there and fight that mess with electronic equipment because that doesn't mix with water. So if I was pinned against the wall and had to answer the question, what are your favorite conditions for waterfowl hunting? I would say cold, I would say a south wind, and I would say sunshine all day long. Uh, that is when I feel I've been a part of the most successful hunts. Uh, that cold weather tends to set birds in motion. Uh, yes, sunshine cast shadows, that whole argument. I don't totally buy into it, uh, especially morning or afternoon. You're either going to have the sun off your back right shoulder or the sun off your back left shoulder. So it is behind you, it's casting a shadow in front of you, but I will buy into the argument that it blinds the birds, especially those first hour, hour and a half where the sun is low on the horizon. I feel that I will give up the shadows in front of me because I don't think they can see those shadows because that sun is blazing in their eyes. So that would be my answer. We wanna hear yours. What would be your ideal conditions? What are your favorite conditions for waterfowl hunting? And uh, make sure you check out our Season 7 videos and uh, tune in next week for another off-season video. Thanks, guys.